If the world needs people who have courage of conviction, it is now. There is a major crisis of what is right and what is wrong. We're forgetting that we need each other. We're forgetting that we need to look out for each other. We're forgetting that except the least of us is taken care of, that the best of us cannot survive. We're forgetting that it's one world and it's a very small world. I've traveled across all the continents and I can tell you, we need each other. It's such a small world that if we don't learn to love and respect ourselves and forget those things that we think are important but are actually unimportant, and if we do not have the courage to speak up when we should, then we set every one of us up for trouble. Take a child from every local environment in this world, no matter their tribe, the color of their skin, their language, or where they come from. Put them all in one room, and you would find them as a team, playing together, supporting each other, except you teach them otherwise. They will work together to solve every problem that you give to them. That's what we need to be. We need to go back to being children of the world again. We need to be a people who believe in love, in faith, in kindness, in, in caring for our neighbors in a way that together we can find the solution of the world. We need to understand that not a single one of us is an island to itself. That every single one of us holds a piece of what is required to build the right world where we can all survive. Whether you're a business person or you're a career person or you're someone who is working in whatever field, we have one home and we share it together. We either protect it, we fight for it. In fighting for the world together, we fight for ourselves. In building a better world, we build a better home for every single one of us. In building a better future, we build a future for our children. It's a small world. It's too small for divisions. It's too small to be divided. But more than what some people think is what you think. How you can dare to think and determine what is right and how you have the courage and the audacity to stand up and fight for what is right. How you can look your neighbor in the eye no matter where they come from and think of what is in their interest as well as in your interest. How you can remember that no matter how smart you are, you're not smart enough to survive by yourself. No matter how rich you are, your wealth alone cannot keep you alive and keep you safe. That we all need one another looking out for one another and understanding that this is our home and it's a home we must protect.